What's up everybody? It is Motivational Monday and I just asked the wife, I said, what are we going to, what message are we going to send today? What are we going to talk about? And she said, me? Did you not? Uh, but I am not a narcissist. That's right. That's right. She's not. So it is Motivational Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. We had a awesome live stream last night if you guys missed it. It's up there. You can check it out. And, um, man, just got this one mowed here. And getting ready to go next door and do the one acre. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Uh, probably just get the mowing, not the trimming. Because, well, look, trimming's boring. I just got to tell you, man. But it's necessary, and it's what sets the yard off. Don't forget that. <clears throat> the only one that I know that can do an edge the proper way is himself, edge. And, uh, you know, I was thinking Ness was really doing good the other day in that video, but I thought, you know what, that's, that's almost sacrilege to say because no one puts an edge down like edge. And uh, if you don't know him, that's Finest Edge Lawn Care here on YouTube. And uh, hey, I will try to give you a positive message today, one that will motivate you to maybe do something you've been wanting to do, but you haven't tried it. Who knows? Who knows? But let's get to work, get that out of the way, then we'll talk. See you in a few. Okay, guys, these two are all done. Got a little bit of footage over there for you. We're heading out to the two and a half acre. Let's see if we can knock that sucker out in two hours. Man, I'm telling you, there's little pieces of that that you cannot get anything bigger than a 48 in. That's why I'm so reluctant to get a bigger mower. And you never know, if you don't have a contract, you never know how long you're going to keep those things. So... And I know I've got a couple of them. I'm losing, well, this year will be the last year for this yard here. So this is the last year for this yard. They are putting the house up for sale here in a couple months. So won't have this one anymore. And you never know, the next door neighbor, she's getting a little more elderly. So you just don't know. But uh, hey, let's go to work.
right guys that is it we are all done home and uh i want to get right into this man i've been thinking about this for a couple days breaking through barriers knocking down obstacles in your life what is it that is holding you back well i'll tell you for me for the longest time, from the time I was a kid up until I was probably 40 years old, or 38, I was shy, backwards, not able to talk to people, not able to express what I was thinking, what I was uh, feeling, so to speak. Uh, couldn't get it out. Kind of shied away from any kind of confrontation. And um, I remember the place I used to work. I was the assistant manager behind the counter. And my boss walked up to me and he said, uh, you are firing this guy today. And I said, that's not my job. I don't, I don't do that. I can't fire somebody. He said, you're firing him or you're fired. He said, you are going to learn to get out of this shell. And I'll tell you what, I took the guy outside, said, hey, I need to talk to you. We walked over by his vehicle. I said, hey man, today's your last day. You're gonna have to get your stuff, you're gonna have to leave. And he started in on me and I felt this big. And I said, you know what? It's either me or him, okay? That's the way it was gonna be that day, me or him. And I didn't want to lose my job. So what I'm telling you is, man, sometimes in life, you have those situations where it's either you or someone else. It's either you do this or you don't eat. You either do this or you don't pay your bills. I remember when I started my business, I was so afraid of rejection from customers. I was afraid to hear no. I was afraid somebody would tell me, that's too much. I was always afraid of that stuff, and I got over it, man. How? I don't know. It's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. You have to, you have to completely be at the bottom where I was. To be so hungry, to be so dissatisfied, to be so broken down that you say, no matter what, I am going to make this work. That's how I did this. That's how I did this lawn care business. I'm telling you, it works in lawn care. It works in every facet of your life, man. When you start taking one obstacle at a time. Okay, you never see anybody get on a running track and run and just take the uh, hurdles and throw them out of the way and then run to the next one and throw them out of the way. They jump over them and they keep moving. They run, they jump, they keep moving. If there's an obstacle in their way, they jump over it and go as fast as they can. That's what you have to do in life, man. You have to take every obstacle that comes in your way. You can't take it out, you can't move it. You've gotta go over top of it. You've gotta say, what is the, what's the best way for me to get over this obstacle and keep moving forward? You never see a guy when they're doing the high hurdles, you never see them run up to it and stop and walk around it, okay? Over it, through it, over top of it. They're going, constantly moving. I just want that for everybody, man. I want you guys to take the one thing that you're having a hard time with. Take something small that you're having a hard time with. You're afraid to talk to people. You're afraid to knock on a door. Customer intimidates you somehow, maybe... I know for me, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, man. I was poor my whole life. Going to some of these houses was overwhelming to me. These folks are very wealthy at times. And that intimidated me. So I had to say to myself, okay, how do you get through that, man? How do you get through that? And I built a person up in my mind of who I wanted to be and then I I acted like that person 
and that person had confidence and that person knows what they're doing and I'm going to tell you the more the more experience you have out here doing your job and look look at this truck okay it's beat up it's rusted nothing's fancy but I will walk on to any job and I will walk away with that job because I know in here that I know what I'm doing I have the confidence and you know how you get the confidence man you step over that obstacle and you move and you get the confidence you take confidence away from the unconfident take the confidence away from yourself take the unconfidence out of yourself make it confident make yourself confident if you have to say to yourself today i'm going to be somebody i've never been before then be it if that's what it takes to give yourself the confidence to do what you have to do to survive you have to be in survival mode man if you're in survival mode you will do anything it takes anything it takes to get better to be better so break through the barriers man in your life take one thing this week one thing this is Monday take one thing and do better at it and let me know later this week what you did maybe Thursday Friday Wednesday say hey man hey doc I'm afraid to talk to people so what I did was this or hey doc I didn't think I was gonna get this job because I I thought I was way too high and I didn't think they liked me but guess what I got it let me know man because those little things add up to huge huge accomplishments and they change your life I want all you guys to be confident man in what you're doing and, and for those of you guys who are just starting out it doesn't matter if it's lawn care or any business doesn't matter go in your mind to who you want to be and act that part and see how things change for you and before you know it you will be that person you will be that confident person you'll have the self-confidence you'll have the discipline we'll talk about discipline another time because that's something that is totally lacking in our society is self discipline man it's not there anymore and uh, it's not easy to get you have to work on it but guys hope you enjoyed it I hope it helps you I really do I hope you think about what I'm saying we all you know I do live streams and people are like man doc just rambles on and on I didn't used to be able to do that okay I used to not want to be talking in front of anybody trust me but you, you condition yourself, you train yourself to do that, man. You learn it. And now it doesn't bother me at all. I don't, I don't care who watches. doesn't matter. So, uh, hey, we got some work done today. Made some uh, gitas. And I appreciate you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I want to give a special shout out to Tom Doby. Uh, the Dobster. Tom you're a great dude, man, honestly. I mean, he dag going near had my wife in tears last night. Um, I'm so proud of my wife for what she's doing, for who she is. And uh, I'll tell you what, guys. Tom is a stand-up dude. Great guy. So, hey, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to get this stuff unloaded and go eat. Peace.